to simulate the effect of having our blade be connected to a hub and to allow the possibility of gathering information such as forces and bending moments at that location, we'll create what is called a remote point. To create this remote point, right click on model and insert a remote point. For the geometry, select the four edges that make up the root, so use your edge selection filter and select these edges this remote point will be located at the origin which is the center of rotation so input 0 0 0 finally change the behavior to rigid so essentially what we're doing is we're holding a node at the center of rotation and then we're making a rigid connection so we're basically not modeling the actual attachment we're just assuming all of this is rigidly attached to a single node one way you can visualize this is to imagine invisible rigid lines connecting the nodes at the root to that single node in space the advantage is to be able to get all six degrees of freedom if we just use the fixed support at the root to extract the reaction forces, we're just going to get the three translational reactions. The nice thing about the remote point is that you can also get the torsion and the two bending moment reactions. To fix the point at this location, so to basically define a fixed support at this node, we need to add something called a remote displacement. We can insert it by right-clicking on static structural and finding the remote displacement. Let's change the scoping method to our remote point. And here choose the report point that we just created. Finally, insert zero for each of these fields. Now let's go to connections you'll see that ANSYS thought that these surfaces should be connected um, but this will actually give us some problems with solving our model so what we're going to do is uh, delete these connections so we can right click on contact and click suppress or actually let's do delete instead all our surface bodies are actually automatically connected because they're in the multi-body part the one that we called blade FEA Let's now specify that this blade is rotating. Right click on static structural and insert a rotational velocity. Now choose to define by components and input negative 2.22 radians per second for the Z component. Now the key with this rotational velocity is that we're actually not spinning the blade. We're just specifying that there is a rotation and ANSYS is basically calculating omega squared times the delta mass of each element times the radius to a centroid to compute the force on that element and then sums that up. So when you specify omega here, you basically get your centripetal loading. Next, we need to change one thing in the analysis settings and that is to turn on large deflection. Turning on large deflection activates a few important features. The specific one we need here is the stress stiffening effect. The faster a blade is spinning, the stiffer its response is going to be. The natural frequencies of an unstiffened blade and a stiffened blade are very different. This is actually analogous to a classic guitar string problem. When we pull on a string, we change its natural frequencies because we've added the stress stiffening term to the stiffening matrix. So to account for that, we need to turn on large deflection. We'll now save our project. 